So how badminton started for me was when I was four years old. I played with my neighbors, my brothers, my family members. And then at the age of 10, I started official training. And then I played in, I participated. I was in the state team in Penang. At 13 years old, I came to Singapore. Yeah, and joined Singapore Sports School. The hardest was speaking English and yeah, not having any friends. Because in Malaysia, in Penang, I used to speak Chinese a lot and Hokkien. I think getting comfortable with the language is, it just comes naturally because I needed to speak English. I don't have a choice. When I was in NS, I actually became a totally different person. I was more outgoing, more, uh, what do you call that? Extrovert, extroverted. My first major games that I represented Singapore was actually held in Singapore, the SEA Games 2015. That was the first time I actually experienced what a major game feels like. And then there's home ground support and I played and performed so well that I actually got into the semi-finals for my individual event. And even in my team event, I nearly beat the top player. I just gotten my citizenship that year so I can finally represent Singapore. So, and it's held in Singapore some more. So it was, I was very excited to finally be able to play in front of home crowd. And put your hands together, our 2019 men's singles champion, Kian Yi Lo! Honestly, I didn't have any target for the Thailand Master 2019 because I saw my draw first round, I meet China in qualification some more. So, and then if I win second round, I'm meeting China again. I think the most important thing is I really didn't know that that's a Super 300. My whole thought of it is just, oh, I'm going to play Ling Tan. Wow, <laughs> I've been dreaming of doing that and hopefully I can beat him. The important thing was I won Ling Tan. So yeah, that was all in my mind. So maybe if I knew that I won a Super 300, I could have been more happy, I don't know. But it could also affect my game, so yeah. Yeah, anyway, I won, so <laughs> it was a good thing. The first person I wanted to call was definitely my mum. Yeah, because I know that she's watching and she's nervous for sure. Because since young she has been watching my game and she she's always into the game more than me and more nervous than I am. Before I tell her she was ready, you won! And then I'm like, yeah I won! Yeah, so yeah, it goes like that. Yeah, so I told her that I actually won. And she was, she told me that she was so proud of me and I told her that I was so happy that I made her proud of me, yeah. I think there's not many opportunities to actually thank the people that have supported me, my parents, my friends, my loved ones, my coaches, my teammates, even the mental association, the sponsors like from Leaning, 100 Plus Indo Cafe, everyone, and even the Past coaches, past mentors, teachers, they have helped me a lot for me to get to where I am today as a person, as an athlete, as whoever I am today. I think this is a great opportunity to thank all of them, including the fans, everyone. Yeah, because if it wasn't if it weren't for all of them, I wouldn't be who I am today. Yeah, so thank you all.